This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Back in the early 80s and 90s, board games was, well, it wasn't at its infancy. Dungeons and Dragons had been around for a little while and really set the benchmark for all things. But then these two games came out with one stuck in the middle but today on versus which one is better which one do you prefer which one is the game that you claim to be supreme out of these two out of print games only you can decide in the comments below I can give my opinion which I will <sighs> but only you can make the decision to see who goes on to face other games through this epic struggle of this entire year to find out what is maybe the greatest game of all time for that John year. I don't know. Only you can pick. Only the community can figure it out in this epic battle. There are no brackets. It's a one-shot deal and only they can survive or fall and you make the decision. Today we are looking at Grail games, that's the best way to put it, two of the most grail dungeon crawls of all time. And you decide which one is better. Is it the Ever Classic or Hammer Quest? Now, as you know, this is one of my favorite games of all time. This is a very deep game. You get a bunch of tiles, but the role-playing book in here really makes it. When you go back to town, you don't know if you're going to survive long enough to go on the next adventure. And you can pre-roll your adventures, use all kinds of different characters from the Fantasy Warhammer universe. They have all the stats and everything that you can want in this one box. There were a couple expansions that came out for it that really, really enhanced it. But after that, it was pretty much killed. Until recently, when they tried to reboot it and call it Warhammer Quest. But it wasn't Warhammer Quest. It wasn't like the old girl here. She, she's a beauty. That's for sure. But who's she up against? Who could she be taking on? Well, before Warhammer Quest, there was the Milton Bradley's Hero Quest. Yes, Hero Quest, an epic classic, who also had its few expansions and was also part of the Games Workshop initiative where they worked very closely with Milton Bradley, making some of the most classic games that spawned off to become some of the greatest games of all time. And let's face it, Hero Quest is a grail game no matter how you look at it so out of these two absolutely classics and just to hold them up I feel I can feel the energy from these two games <sighs> which one do I pick it's so hard I like the computer rendering that you can use now with that special program that'll kinda help you go through things so you can play solo but the randomness of the role-playing experience. One roll, bad roll of the dice can make a very successful adventure turning to a total disaster in town. I've got to go Warhammer Quest. It's an evolution above Hero Quest. Even though I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. You, you know I still love you, don't you? This is getting a little weird. Yes, I know. Hero Quest, Warhammer Quest, which one's better in your mind? My opinion doesn't matter anything. The only opinion that matters is your opinion. Yes, you the community. But where are you going to tell me? Well, I'm going to tell you where you can tell me what you think is the best. Right down there in the comments, tell us who's the best. Who sits behind and who goes on to face? I don't know. We'll just have to see in the magical shelves what we pull up. Could be something new, could be something old, could be something borrowed. Hey, sounds like a wedding video. There you have it, guys. You get to pick Warhammer Quest or Hero Quest. It's up to you. 
Let me know what you think of this new segment. Let me know what you think of these two games. Your thoughts. Everything that you think about. Stand up and fight for one or trash the other. It's up to you. As always, it's your old pal Rob. Vote down in the comments before. And until next time, we'll see you soon.